uh, last week's minutes and pass them on, please. Oh, yeah. so for you, Sue. Zin? Sue Zin. Right. I can look on it, too. Yeah. The third third third. Third. Okay. All right. Two, three, three four. All right, so um, this is the start of the uh, this week's Public Trade Pre Commission meeting. Susan, are you here as a member of the public who would like to make a public comment? No, I'm simply here as a member of Shade Tree Northampton in support of my new newly appointed chum here. Okay, <laughs> great, awesome, excellent. All right, in that case, we're going to move on to approval of last week's minutes. Motion to approve. Oh, somebody read them online. I have a couple <laughs> comments. I have them here, but on page two, at the bottom under Molly Freilich, Freilicher? Freilicher. It says tree store training and it's tree steward. That's T E W A R. I couldn't quite hear it. And then there was one other thing that I was confused about. Uh, on page six. Six. Under what commission has page six in the minutes? <laughs> under city, city council. Under okay, they go for like four hours. <laughs> under any other business, I anticipated by the chair. Chair, the last two bullet point is what uh, Rich noted that redesign is more about changing zoning, blah blah blah. And then what should the core area look like with narrowing of Main Street? Most people do not a change. I didn't. Oops, I missed the word. Why? Once. I, that's what I thought it said, but okay, those were the only two things that I had. I got the reading was at 4.30, so I sat in my truck and read the minute. Oh, did you? <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm say I'm you're a speed reader. Hey. Hey. <laughs> uh, may not happen in the week. We should always tell you the meetings. I don't at four. You can just be our official reader. Otherwise, should we take you that the accuracy of this was highly? I I was here. On. I wasn't here. But oh, you were. I could huh? understand it. Oh uh, well, Nina Bosick. Um, Bosick is spelled wrong. You didn't catch that? No, I don't. Nina Bosick. I'm a Page bad four. Oh, you are? Yeah, I'm a really bad. It doesn't matter. We get the idea. I think it's uh, there's a U in there somewhere. Okay, how how is it spelled? I have to. Am I? I'm not getting online today. Um, what page is it on? Page four. Bless you. Bless you. Oh, it's B A S U. It's U K. I don't. Yeah. B A S U K. That's it's closer. Yeah, um, I don't know if it has too Rich, do you have your hotspot yep. here? Yep, yep. Need the password. Yep. Um, I don't usually. It's the Verizon. Yep. Okay. Seven nine one L. Okay. Uh, I should. It should pick up. But we'll see. Okay, there we go. Excellent. It's B A S S U K. And Dave left core. We're getting really ridiculous here. I think it's C O U R T, isn't it? Yeah, Dave left court. Yeah. Okay, where, where's that one? That's right under the Nina. Um, the oh, okay. Ones. C O R T. C O U R T. Left court. And the Nina comes here under Dave. Let the minutes reflect that Molly Hale arrived six minutes late, panting. <laughs> or at least keep the panting part. <laughs> Okay, so we have a motion to approve. Do we have a second? A second. Okay, uh, any other changes? All right. Um, 
All in favor? Aye. Aye. Abstain? Aye. I'll abstain because I haven't read them yet. Okay. On to the next thing. Chair report. Um, I don't know that I have anything planned. So um, while I'm reflecting, I'm going to turn it over to Jen, who had a very little something that she wanted to share. Yeah, I um, I was reading through this uh, through the, through the um, Citizen Forester for September, and there was a Vermont Green Street Guide that you could download. So I downloaded it and um, had it uh, kind of reproduced. So it's a kind of an interesting document if. Um, I, can, I brought two of them with me. If anybody wants a hard copy, um, you can email me, hmm. or um, or you can download it, or I can send you the the. I already have the PDF downloaded, but I could just link it to an email. It's it's pretty uh, pretty interesting. It's about uh, you know things that you know stormwater mitigation with street tree plantings and you know and there's some case studies at the end. Thank you. So yeah. Great. Okay, yeah. that does remind me of one thing, and that is um, I forwarded to everybody an email from Henry Lappin, mm -hmm. who is the chair of the um, Amherst Public Shade Tree Commission. And um, so in other business, maybe we'll take a moment to look at that and see if there's a comment we want to make before midnight tonight. Um, is that, what Did is you have a chance to read the whole, I, 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 read no. the, I read this, but then, the whole plan is is a subset and it's pre mm -hmm. it, yeah i mean I even even if we thing. just um even if we just iterate what henry is planning to say which is there's a there's an absence of mention of trees in this document that, we, yeah i skimmed it and i didn't see okay. anything then i think yeah, that has that's a value. problem if, yeah. if nothing else did yeah. you get a chance to read it yeah okay well then uh you, you might be our draft We'll get to that in other business. The other thing that I did want to mention is um, we're going to debrief the Orchard Street neighborhood planting, but I um, had the pleasure and luck of planting alongside a, um, a new arborist in town. She's actually a long, long time arborist, very skilled, just been hired by UMass um, in there um, as a arboriculturalist and urban forest expert, and her name is Christina Bazanson. And I've invited her, I, I learned so much from her in just, you know, an hour of, of planting next to her. That, uh, and, and she has a lot of skill when it comes to design issues too. She's kind of like all in one. She's not a narrow arboriculturist. So um, I invited her to a future tree commission meeting. And she's accepted and it's just a matter of when, when she's available. Which reminds me that Todd asked me, and I forgot to send a doodle out to everybody, about um, meeting around the holidays. Mm -hmm. um, both Thanksgiving, there's a, a the, second, the third Wednesday of the month is the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. And then the third Wednesday of December is the 19th, which is not so close to Christmas, but people's plans can be all over the map. So we might do a quick um, ask of who, cannot raise your hand if you cannot meet that wednesday before thanksgiving okay right there that's that's three you two can i, I don't really know so i'll yeah on the set of caution. all right so we're not going to meet the wednesday before thanksgiving um which is a quiet pretty quiet time maybe not for you you're, sure. you're doing like uh tree city usa stuff right or would that be already done by uh, No, I haven't even started that. I have moved. I'm in the process of moving. Moving your house? No, I'm moving. You're off. Oh, yeah. what's happening? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so we don't have a quorum for the second meeting in November. That's that's decided. Now, the third week of the third Wednesday of December, who cannot make it? What's the date? It's the nineteenth. So it sounds like that meeting is on. Todd, does that satisfy your 
what, was it January you're going to be gone? Yeah, I guess a little later, but. Uh, okay. Yeah, earlier December's probably. Okay, that's it for the chair report. Uh, I don't really have a lot to add, other than I'm going to be attending two meetings next week. One is a uh, committee that I've been put on as a tree warden, which is uh, the climate and uh, resiliency um, plan that the city's been working on. So that's at, uh, there's a public hearing actually at First Churches in Lyman Hall, 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. on the 23rd, which the public is welcome. It's, uh, second installment of the original meeting that we had at the uh, Senior Center. Can you repeat the time, place, and location? It's, it's going to be at the First Churches in Lyman Hall. And the 23rd? 23rd is a Tuesday. Next, next oh, Tuesday. okay. 5.30 to 7.30. Okay. And you're going to go? Yes. Good. And then I'll be meeting uh, in Wayne's office on the 25th during the day with uh, Design with Nature, the steering committee um, with GZA. So okay. that's during the day. What's GZA? Uh, so yeah. uh, engineering company? Yes. Engineering. Oh, it's an engineering. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, other than, I mean, most of the other things I can talk about, I guess, are inside the rest of the body of the meeting. I don't have anything out of the ordinary to report at the moment. Okay. All right. So onward we move. All right, Todd, any update on the significant tree ordinance? You're on the agenda. Oh. No. <laughs> I, I don't have an update other than it's what it, what was written is going in front of the tree council. Yeah, we're getting the, uh, wanted to see if she wanted the, the definition tweaked of uh, net zero if it was in the building. It's in the building code. So it will not be in this document. Well, as long as it's referenced in the building, it's in the building code. Okay, so that you're satisfied with that? Yeah. Okay. All right. So it goes before city council? Yes, and I'm not sure exactly when. I don't know the answer. I'll find that out for as much more. Okay. All right, community forestry grant. Um, how's that coming? I think that's that's it. Mostly you speaking, Rich. On so uh, I found I found a set of viable plans actually of the parking lot in this existing configuration, which will make our life a lot easier. So I can actually scale everything. I just got them today, so I can actually. We have to develop the piece cost for the. Hardscape is really where we're going to have to figure out what we're going to do for hardscape work after we do the. That's the match portion. Yes, that's going to be the match, which we have to have all that documentation mm -hmm. lined up so we can submit this at the end of the yeah. month. Mm -hmm. um, and other than that, I don't have anything else to report other than I'm, I'm probably going to end up using um, figures from the Pleasant Street project. So I will reach out to um, Niche Engineering again, like I did before, and use their cost. For flexi pave because it's a cost built in with labor that's much higher than ours would ever be to, to be safe. And there's a possibility we, we will use flexi pave, right? I, I would think that it would be a good place to use flexi pave. Yeah. I don't see any reason why it wouldn't be. Uh -huh. Is there any chance that in the two years from then to when we do it, there's been inflation in the, so that we're underestimating the cost? Well, Pleasant Street was done last year. Um, yeah, but by the time we get around to this, I think I would add a, I would add a percentage to it. I would, I'll ask uh, Steve at Niche, okay. Steve Farr. Yeah. All right. So you're moving along with that. Yeah. And just so you know, um, when I looked at the um, at the aerial that Marilyn and Robin, mm -hmm. they identified two, three sites. I think it was 15, 16, and 17 that are that are not that don't require structural soil. Those are outside of the parking lot. At least 16 and 17? Uh, yeah, 15 and 16. 15 and 16? Okay. They're in front of um, that little tea shop. Yeah, and that's not, so that's traditional planting. I don't know how those got added in, but I just want to make sure that we don't 
factor those into the cost of mm -hmm. yeah all across, across the street mm -hmm. yes that's part of our 50 traditional trees. correct okay yeah. Um, the next important thing, Marilyn, yep. is when you and Rob are going to be identifying the 50 cents. Uh, on Tuesday. We wonderful. Oh, on next Tuesday morning. Okay. Yep. Great. So that's um, in the works. And you got my little script notes on um, uh, what the 36 sites we've identified. Yep. Okay. Yep. Very back of the envelope kind of thing. Okay. All right. Um, what else do we need to be doing with this? Do we need any letters of reference? Uh, I, I don't know the answer to that question. I have to look. I don't yeah. have any documentation. I can, me. I can, I didn't see any for so. that, but I'll ask. So you're working on the budget. Yep. I'm working on the narrative. Um, you're working on the 50 sites and how are you going to what's the best way to deliver that information into the uh, uh, application like are we going to be using another Google map where we just draw on it draw on it like circle numbers it's probably fine but I just want to make sure that could we're not you, scrambling it you, you, you could use that or to clean it up a little bit you could give that to me and then I could have that information transfer it onto a uh, GIS map Okay. Possibly. So how how do you want me to do it? A map with just a map, just like that like one that. right there. Okay. Just identi uh, identifying the locations. Okay. And then um, I can see if we can actually get that put on our GIS, uh, make a GIS layer possibly, or I can do that because I have I have GIS that has ortho photos on it, and I can just look at the ortho photo and just make points. Do 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 do. And make it into a shape file. Is that what you want? That, that would work. All right. Yep. Okay, wonderful. Very helpful. So okay, so that's, that's going to be a shape file, Molly. I know. That was very impressive. Uh -huh. <laughs> I like all the pointing. The good, good, good skill, skill sets we have. Uh -huh. Very uh -huh. skill sets. So. Yeah. All right, I'm just going to quickly review the application to see if there's anything else we might be missing. Oh, um, Rich, yep. you know how the educational component, you know how we've talked mm -hmm. about running a workshop. Do you need to, do we need, I think it, I think it will strengthen our application if we can be as specific as possible. Um, especially if we have a chance of bringing in a big hitter like Nina Basic. So like a specific date? No. No, not at all. I don't think they're asking for that. I think just that we would be able to bring in someone so with small, that level of... Right. So if I can get her to commit to it, just the problem is I'd have to give her a date, though. Well... Or I can actually try to get her just to commit to coming. Yeah, just generally or speaking. Her, her convenience, her yep. schedule. Somebody told me at the tree steward training, I can't remember if it was Molly or the... There's somebody in the planning department in Chicopee who worked with Nina and knows a lot about structural soil and stuff. And I don't, he, it was a guy, I, I, I probably wrote it down in my notes. Um, you know, I don't know how many people in the planning department, but that might be another. Do you want to investigate? I can, yeah. In case she says no. And yeah. the other thing is I can contact Christina again. Mm -hmm. This is a woman who seems like she has a lot of skill and maybe, maybe she's got that as a skill set. So I can ask her. At the very least, she might be interested in having some role in that workshop. Um, okay, let's see what else. And what's the ballpark uh, season of when we're gonna, what, like, would it be next fall? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, is it like fall of 2019 install or, you know, just so, it's not going to be this spring. No. Well, no okay. No, All right. It'll be late summer or fall. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. Oh, to the question, should we include letters of support? Projects that include a broad range of partners and participants will be favored. Letters of support from key cooperators will strengthen the application. Oh. Tree mm -hmm. Northampton. Yeah. 
Um, and actually, to that point, a while ago, I think I sent you and Rob an email asking for some stats. For the volunteers. Yeah. Just to, just to give the background of what a well-grounded organization you are, that can be in your letter, too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Certainly. Okay, wonderful. All right, so Sue Trinworth Hampton letter. Can you get that to me within a week? Yeah. Okay. I'd love to start pulling all this together in the last week. Um, and your turnaround will be pretty quick from when you guys visit yeah. the sites. Awesome. Okay. Um, and you'll be determining small, medium, or large. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, okay, so uh, key cooperators will strengthen the applicant. Are there any other key cooperators that we need to be thinking about here besides Tree Northampton? What about a letter from the mayor? Uh, all applications must include a letter from the tree warden. He, he, he can't do it because he has to sign the grant. Oh, okay. okay. Rich, um, even though this seems uh, duplicative, it says all applications must include a letter from the tree warden indicating the tree warden's involvement in the project. Sure. Right. Just note that. Yeah. Okay. Rich. It's used, the, the, the lot is used by customers of the downtown. Right? Mm -hmm. To get the chamber, the mm -hmm. DNA. Uh-huh. I, I, I mean, I think these will only strike, especially because we're asking a lot. Do you have connections there, Todd? Yeah, we have a, like an executive summary of the grant. I can, I can. Yeah, just throw me like two paragraphs or. A, um, it's the um, the attempt to apply would be the would be the summary. Are you able to forward that to um, Todd? Sure. Okay. Is that who the uh, letter of support would go to? It would be addressed to Julie Coop at DCR. It's on the intent to apply. I'll need that as well, right. Julie Cooper. Coop. Um, so, Rich, if you could send that to Sue as well. Yeah. Yeah. So the C or K is our name. And recreation. A big question about board conservation. Of course, our legislature will be you can find one, you can rent, you can rent one for a day. <laughs> uh, okay, um, just this point with regard to the grant application. It says criteria for rating proposals. I'm, I'm looking at them and we're like tick, 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 tick. We got that, we got that, we got that. Project involves diverse members of the community in planning and implementation. Certainly that volunteer force is great. I'm wondering since this is an EJ grant, if there's anyone you know, it, I don't know. I'm, I'm just thinking: Is there any anyone who could represent um, the people who will live and benefit from all of those tree plantings around there? Who could submit a letter or have some kind of involvement in the planting? I have no connections at Ed McDonald's house. I mean, they will definitely be benefiting from a lot of plantings in front and around their building. I would, I think Wayne might have some connections. It might be worth reaching out to him. <coughs> they, okay. I can't, I can't, don't quote me on this, but I thought maybe perhaps there was someone uh, from there who sat on that uh, pedestrian and bike advisory subcommittee of the committee. Of the okay. Where am I going to send it to you? Sue Lofthouse of Verizon.net or Tree Northampton? Tree Northampton, then I can okay. put it for record keeping. Right. In general, is that what we should be sending uh, email uh, to you? Email. Mm -hmm. Yes. In yes. general, do you prefer? Yeah. Oh, you do? Like, like, like for tree, tree commission stuff? stuff? Yeah, put it in. Well, that's a good question. Let me think about that. Okay. All right. Let me see if there's anything else here. Community to Tree CEO USA. Yes. Oh, because I'm going to. Okay. Well, that's not going to help. Okay, good. I think that covers it. Any questions about the grant? Anything you feel like we've, we're missing or need to highlight? Is there a limit on the letters of support? No. 
No, so if you can think of any other people who would be, I was just wondering like, uh, uh, Margaret Bullet Jonas and Andrea, two ministers who have done, or even like the minister here at the UU Church, some of those folks might use the parking lot. Because um, some of those faith organizations draw an environmental justice. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. What about your CAD group? Yeah. Um, this downtown, sure. it's tree planting. You guys have yeah. had interest in tree planting in the past. Mm -hmm. So um, CAG is Climate Action Group mm -hmm. of the UU. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they'll why not? approve that. I don't know how much weight it will hold, but why not? Yeah. More support. Yeah. Thanks for the inspiration. OK. Um, that I, I also think that'll be a lot easier than trying to get very bit busy people to write letters that mm -hmm. you could just have it come from. All right. So who, who does it go to again? Send her the intent to apply to. Okay. Jimmy Coop. Hold on, I'll send you the. Okay. It's got all of the d data on the. All right. Information you need. All right. A debrief of the pilot neighborhood planting project. Rob is unfortunately not here to participate, but Sue is. Well, Rob certainly played a critical role in setting the trees and figuring out where everything was go going and working with me on logistics. I think it went, from our point of view, really smoothly. Um, we didn't know in advance how many or if there were going to be volunteers on the street. Um, so I recruited enough volunteers to plant all those trees and had a lot of people there who had done it. Almost all the people I recruited were very experienced. So as people came out of their houses, as they did, they worked alongside very experienced people. So it went quickly. It was very cold and very wet and um, I knew that Volunteers who were very experienced would show up, but we really didn't know if anyone from the community would. So I'd say going forward, we would probably try to get um, more specifics on who's who the who the neighborhood volunteers are. I don't know if they were hesitant to share the names, but um, despite much prodding, it was never. A yeah, list. we certainly it we certainly very prod. difficult. It does, and maybe that is our strategy. I mean, as long as there is a um, an abundance of volunteers I that. because I think what Shoshana was worried about was that the weather was going to scare people off and and there were a lot of maybes because a lot of families with kids and so forth and so I get the I don't know I, I can't promise you can count on these people and of course so many of them came out I mean there were a lot of people my great disappointment for the day was that the media didn't show up because mm -hmm. the they street did, they did come in mm -hmm. the end after you left because that was there. Yeah, channel 22? That, cha and channel 22, we actually... I know we made it at it, like 6 in the morning. When no, it was at night. It was in the dark at night. They got a picture of the, <laughs> the reporter was standing next to the tree. Oh, um, you know. okay. All right. Somebody so sent that, that link. Yeah. I, yeah. That, no, that was that was me, but I thought that that was from the morning before. No. Okay. No, that was from the nightly news. No, we got something from the morning before, too, because what they said is, Beware the streets close gonna be closed. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's what you said. <laughs> yeah. Which I thought, man, they are scraping Bummer. the bottom of the news barrel. <laughs> As if it's like this major corridor. Apparently must be wearing commuters. <laughs> so we got that coverage and then the Gazette came, but I didn't yeah. see anything in the paper. No, he took photos. Okay, well then you know what? Maybe they're gonna save it for another day. But I I wanna call the Gazette because the most important thing is that we get word out about this program. Mm -hmm. Right. We we um the application is up and running. Shoshana went uh, um, did the trial run um, and it was um, there were a few questions she had but it wasn't impossible and um, so we know that that works and that I'm assuming Karen got all the data and it's glitchy. What's glitchy? Um, yesterday. You could open the actual application, but you couldn't open the PDF mm. preview. Mm -hmm. And then um, on and off, you couldn't open the application. So it's been a little glitchy. Is that just the site? 
It's just the site. Okay. Yeah, like, I so have Karen look at it though. Because I'm working with Ken Neiman, I'm oh, good. getting it filled out, and yeah. oh, good. he's finding that you know when he's tried to go in, it hadn't opened, and finally it, he managed to get it open. Okay. Good. What about? Yeah. Who's there? Sorry. What about contacting um, the person who does that um, weekly gardening column thing in the in the Gazette? There's a person that yeah, you know, just about this. Oh. Is she sent me an email, and I have to, I'm, it's ha I have a half written oh, to her, and I have to okay. finish. I just, is it about this program? It was not about that program, but it was about the whole tree program in general. But I'm going to hopefully add all that information. Okay, awesome. So I just haven't gotten back to her. But I'm wondering if I should um, pursue one more time a gazette article i mean the trees have been planted but now the street looks completely transformed mm -hmm. and we have um, we punted our deadline for this application to december 1st because november 1st was a ridiculously yeah, short yeah, period yeah. of time um and so i think it would behoove us to get word out and to get a lot of buzz going i mean why not have multiple applications um what day is the environment section I don't know. Thursday? Maybe. Yeah. It's a gardening magazine that comes out on the weekend. That's a Friday. Well, the Friday. Uh, no, it is in the weekend, right? In the right? weekend, yeah. Yeah. So are what you. What about Hampshire? What about the Hampshire Life? Could you just. That's free, right? Just put it in. There must be something. Oh, you yeah, mean like something. Yeah, that's a yeah, so, yeah, so you could actually run an advertise. You can run advertisements in the Hampshire Life? For, for nothing. Yeah. So we could. You mean in the calendar section? So yeah. You're yeah. You yeah. Could, you could do that as well. I mean, I think the problem with the Gazette, from what I understand, I'm talking to the reporter who's worked there for like 30 years, is that there is only one, there was only one photographer and one B reporter on the weekends. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So if um, there's other things. The pumpkin on. roll beat us out. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. I know. <laughs> Something like that. Right. There was a photographer there from the Gazette, though. He took names of yes. volunteers. Yes. Yes. Well, that's great. You know, just a. Uh, so. And sometimes those can show up like as much as a week later. So I will go ahead and recontact them to say, hey, I understand you came by. Thanks so very much. Um, we were so interested in, in promoting this program. I think what would be helpful too is if um, when we go to do this, we actually end up getting a press release to the mayor's office a little earlier. Yeah. Just so they can, if they get bogged down or other things, it takes yeah. a few days to get it out of there. Yeah. And if we actually were to have a press release like the week before, then we could actually kind of get well, the case of the media. This was very specific, as you recall. I was waiting on the online rollout of the application. Well, it's, it's a lot going on. It's yeah, lot. yeah, no, but that's what that's what held yeah. it up, yeah. and um, and that's you know that's just is what it is. I was pleased that it got out at all. So, how many trees altogether are planted? Uh, Fifteen. 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 Um, a few more to come, I think. Yep, fair root. It was nice. We had some, a couple little, there was one little kid, um, but a lot of nice neighbors. And I hope from your point of view, it went. I mean, it was. Well. I don't. I think I participated in two plantings. By the time I got to go do it over, they were in the ground. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I do. I, I, and I, from my perspective, I think the way we went about it was was really well. I think having the DPW staff there to actually clean up after everyone, so it's completely transformed. Yeah. For me, really, just yeah. eats it up, and it's one less step that I have to take the following Monday. Yeah. Um, I know that we actually have requested that residents have hoses available, but I think having the water there and available, filling up pails, mm -hmm. you know, I, I mean, it, I think it makes life a lot easier than having the mulch and then just being able to close the road down. Because that's the other thing, you know, depending upon where we're working next time around, you know, yeah. we may not have to close the road down. We do still have to have, if we, if we do work on Prospect Street, you have to have uh, lane, uh, you know, partial lane closure. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, so it kind of takes that burden off the residents a little bit. They're still going to have to go through the whole obviously application project. They can mm -hmm. provide water, great, but it's more the after water that is important. Yeah. Uh, um, I, the the event was rain or shine, and it was raining. Mm -hmm. Had it been a heavy rain, it may have been really tricky. Because yep. as is, the trees were, were wobbling all over the place. They had nothing to hold on to. So at what point do you, so you, will you make that on a case-by-case -case basis? I think so. I mean, I, I think if we were to, when we go to schedule the next one, we should probably do a, have a rain have day, a rain, have a rain day built in so it can yeah. be advertised that the rain yeah. day would be this day. Yeah. Instead of just, you know, this was, 
because it happened, the application went on quickly, yeah. the press release was delayed, yeah. you know, it was rain or shine, yeah. and you know, who thought we'd get, you know, I told him it was rain in 30 days as well. So, yeah, no kidding, right? Yeah. But having the, road, the street closed makes for a much more positive volunteer experience. Oh my God, it was like a carnival. Yeah. 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 Cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Cool. That's cool. It That's really cool. was. Uh, did, 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 did the press get there at least when there were still a lot of people mulling yeah. in the street? Yep. Great. Yeah, were, were the we're residents we're notified that the street would be closed? No. <laughs> no. Well, I, yeah, there are a lot. There are no, a lot. Actually, I take that back. We did. It was, was in the newspaper and it goes on the city's blog, but as far as going door to door, no. Yeah. We rely upon our, the blog and the, the uh, mayor's Twitter, Facebook account goes up, and that's where all this stuff is basically. Mm -hmm put out for people to see we don't I informed the volunteer contact who informed the people on the street several days okay, in good. advance. Yeah. Anybody who she who was willing to be in touch with her on email. Okay. okay. I'm helping organize the five K for Farm in on Sunday and we sent letters to all the abutters to let them know. But I guess if it's a short enough segment you could just do door to door knocking. Mm -hmm. People they could get in and out. They could. Oh, they yeah. could. They yeah, they could. Off. Yeah. yeah. All right, so lessons learned from our pilot neighborhood uh, planning project. Get the press release out sooner. Have a rain date. Any other lessons learned? Uh, not enough trees. Okay. Seriously. I mean, we, we could, yeah. we, we, I budgeted till noontime, and we could have planted another 10 trees easily. Mm -hmm. Okay, but that's just, you, you identified 15 sites, we filled 15 sites, right? Well, we identified 17 and then Shoshana identified two other ones that, that yeah. we could fit in there, so yeah. my, I guess. But how does that fit into like lessons learned for future? I think that ties into the volunteer, act, actually knowing what the volunteer. Volunteer count. Volunteer count is. Mm -hmm. So if we actually know that we have this volunteer count, mm -hmm. that and then we end up having neighbors come out of their houses and wanting to help you have another five to eight people if we have more trees we could have done more I maybe mean, you know we could we could have planted a few more if we had them we just didn't have them but it's kind of really when you have that energy and that motion mm -hmm. it's it would be nice to say oh yeah by the way down the street on bridge street we have seven more trees to be planted in there yeah we had we had the people power yeah we had people we had power strong people experience yep. who didn't get to plant as many trees mm -hmm. as they wanted to so, mm -hmm. Okay. I, th I think the lesson learned there would be to, to, to when we go to actually vet the applications that we look at applicants that actually have 15, 20 trees. 15 or 20 minimum. Yep. Okay. 15 to 20 minimum. Okay. I think it's a testament to the growth of tree Northampton that we have now a good group, uh, increasing group, much larger than we had a year ago by far. Right. Of experienced, oh, yeah. very yeah. strong. Mm -hmm. people who can work with other volunteers you can pair them with another volunteer that volunteer will have a good experience and learn a lot yeah that's what happened so, when we were at uh, with the Smith College students mm -hmm. um, I was working with Ken and he you know, he really knows what he's doing and we just split up and took two different groups and we well it was amazing how many trees we went for that day yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so then we have the people with the professional knowledge to to look at those root balls, we have some really. There, there's always a new thing so with the root ball. Yeah. There's yeah. always something. Yeah. Like either the graft is difficult, yeah. or there's just all these adventitious roots yeah. above the the flare. So, as you discovered too. Yeah. No. Every so Sunday we have a new challenge. Yeah. We had a, we had a really every interesting time. one in, yeah. with the white oak trees on Sunday. Um. um all right. Um, good, excellent. I'm excited that this program is launched. Yeah, I want to get the word out, so I'm going to make sure I contact the exec. On to the next item, which is 2018 fall planting. Okay, I can give a little update on that. So yesterday, Rob and I sat for about three hours to try to um, work out the rest of the fall plantings. We are gonna have, our estimation is we may have two, between 280 and 290 trees planted. Um, we are actually going to, we're taking an order, uh, 32 bare root trees that are gonna come from the Chestnut, uh, Chestnut Ridge Nursery in New York that's gonna be delivered on the 30th, so we'll be planting those. 30th of October? Yes, at the end of the month. 
on that Wednesday, we'll be doing, we're going to start working on Bridge Street by Historic Northampton. Mm -hmm. um, so these are underwire? Yes, mm -hmm. there's a combination of underwire trees and larger trees, so we have to satisfy setback plantings as well. Um, I'm still meeting with people that are interested in setback plantings, although I, I'm not, I, we're going to honor all the ones I have signed, and maybe a few more, but we have to kind of stop because we have to finish next year. We'll have to just keep going, and I'll just keep taking orders through the winter. Um, let's see, what else did we talk about yesterday? We ended up trying to resolve the other setback plantings. I have, uh, you know, obviously Rob and I, <clears throat> we have to actually, I think next, w once I move and I'm settled in, I think we're, I'm going to take a hard look and try to figure out how we can better organize all the data that we have uh, in uh, like a team drive where we all have access to it. Uh, because, you know, right now there's Alicia and Rob have been going around and canvassing a lot of places and I've been doing the same thing. We're kind of, we just need to kind of coordinate that a little better. Um, but as we have more planting projects that come up, we'll all, you know, that'll be easier for us as well. So that's another thing. Um, and then um, I, I think we'll have enough, we, we're going to get, have to get 10 more trees from Amherst Nursery. So we have 42 plus probably another 28 left in the nursery to plant. It'll be empty, it'll be done. And we're going to go back to Bridge Road. We have a few places to go back to on Bridge Road to fill in the holes, but Bridge Street will be completed. Mm -hmm. And we picked up another seven sites on Bridge Street. To finish our end of Bridge Street will be our the city's mm -hmm. portion of Bridge Street will be filled up. Mm -hmm. Almost there'll be a couple of small places left, but that'll be done. I'm curious, are you gonna plant one in front of that house that's right where the entrance onto Route 91 is? It's like this big open can't can't do it. Oh you can't do that. Stay, Stay layout. Mm -hmm. Oh right, right, right. So if I understand we're ahead of schedule and we have more trees going in this season than yep. originally. Yeah, we, we try to cap it at 250, but we're going to be 30 over that, <coughs> and that includes the chestnuts, mm -hmm. providing the weather holds out, you know, if the weather's turning If out. there's more room in Spring Grove Cemetery, I actually have um, a number of other nice potted trees that you might want to put in there that I, you know, started out as whips from Arbor Day that need to yeah. go into the ground. Yep, there's, so. there's plenty of room. They're too small for street trees at this point, but I think that they need to get out of their pots. So, I have a question, Rich. Um, this grid that um, Molly completed and shared with everybody, um, that's species specific, mm -hmm. 2016, 17, 18. Um, is there any way that the database like, let's just say you wanted to find out, all right, where have all the hawthorns been planted? If you clicked on mm. hawthorn, yep. that oh, the map would light up. This is just a summary of the, yeah. of the things that are more detailed. But these will, these will eventually all yep. be on the map. Everything, right? everything will oh. be, in, this winter, everything will be in there. I will have time to do it all. Oh, okay. could, could you click on perhaps like a... You can, and, and, it, and it will pick, it'll, it'll pick up all of the trees, so you have to narrow it down to a size. So if you wanted to say all the trees that are just two inches in DBH. Well, could you do it by species? Yeah, yep. you can do a search on You can do a search by yeah, species. Okay. You can do a search by street, by yeah. address, by site ID. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You name it, it's pretty, it's pretty flexible. It's just I have But the addresses are on the Excel, on right. the Google Doc. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Which is very helpful because it You keeps can it sort it any way yeah. you want. Yep. Right. I'm just thinking it would be great, like, to have the map open on your computer and oh, then sort that. it and then yeah. just see see it light up with whatever you're searching for. Yeah, that's the only thing that uh, I have to work I have to work with them because I want to get a couple I, I want to I don't know if I can do it but I want to be able to build layers mm -hmm. so we can actually see layers multiple layers right now there's uh, just our uh, the actual street trees there's the parcel layer there's the Google satellite map and there's one other one I don't have it open but that is built by Davey. I can actually probably get them to do a couple other layers where they actually just teach me how to build a layer. It'd be nice to do layers by years too. Well, so that, that's that's what I want to do. So right now the way that I have the layers done is by project year. So it's 
2018 plantings, 2017, 2016, but you only click on one layer at a time. And, and, and the view only is not able to do that. Correct. So that can be Flat. changed. Yeah. Well, you could use that in a presentation. That yeah, you could. That would be you, impressive. You could. Yeah. 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 It will also be interesting to see how, um, if you look at the objectives of the Davy Tree work um, when they did the inventory in looking at different tree families, um, how we've diversified. I think you'll we'd be able to see it in something like that, how you could really measure the improvement. Even before the report, we were diversifying families, mm -hmm. but um, tree families. Okay, anything else about um, this fall's plantings? Uh, Marilyn. Oh yeah, so at, last, at our last meeting, I offered to do a little tag mm -hmm. and Molly and Lily and I had our eyes on this, so I'll just pass it around. Comments, welcome. Did you? Well, I guess it'd be easier for me to. Did you share work. it? Can you sh can you share it with everyone uh, so they have it electronically too? Yeah, I didn't bring my computer today because of the rain, but okay. Okay, when I get home. Well, okay. it just says it has the logo for the city. Uh, this public shade tree was planted by volunteers and is protected from harm or removal under Massachusetts General Law, Chapter 87. Is it Massachusetts General Laws? Yeah, MGL Chapter 87. But it's plural laws? I think laws. it's singular. No, not MGL Massachusetts General Law. Law, oh, okay. Um, questions, comments, or to join our volunteer tree planting effort, please contact Northampton Tree Warden Richard Harris-Saliti. Give your number and your email address. And then public shade trees provide many benefits. Beauty, sense of place, clean air, cooling shade, noise buffering, traffic calming, stormwater mitigation, enhanced property value, clean water, food and habitat for wildlife, carbon sequestration, improved mental well-being. So, does it say that the trees are paid for by, by the city? Uh, no. Do we want that on there? Why is that, you feel like that's an important point? In the past when we've talked about this, we wanted to make sure people understand that they're a city. Well, it says it's a public shade tree. Okay. Do you think it's not implicit? Do you feel like I'm just curious? Do you put in parentheses? Only no, by this it's got a lot of words, I think. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we we definitely started with something much bigger and pared down. <laughs> um, but why don't I share that with everybody so okay. you can do if you want to do some wordsmithing, um, you're you know you're welcome to make um, comments and suggestions. Um, the other thing too we could do um, we could have all the benefits on the back side because oh. the tag is going to be hanging so that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. you, you could have the first part that it's protected yeah. and for further information or to contact and then on the back the benefits that's true. i like that that's the little with a little yeah look on the back for tree benefits because then you could also either do a smaller mm -hmm. tag or bigger letters you could do look on the back for tree benefits oh yeah yeah, yeah. or the benefits of this that's tree or whatever graphically it's it's um you know i couldn't read it over there but it was like oh yeah yeah. Yeah, said it too electronically. So you said, Rich, that somebody in the house can take that and do the yeah. final layout. Should you like laminated or something? If you send me the if you send me the final document and uh, something that can be manipulated, I can send it to Marcus Printing. Okay. Yeah, well, um, I'm gonna send it. And this is it seems like a little picky detail, but it matters. Is are we going to have a hole in it that a string's going to go through or something? Yeah. Um, make sure that when the hole is punched, it doesn't go through the paper part too. It just goes through the laminate part. Because otherwise, the moisture seeps into the paper. Yeah. And I think I'm going to get those cards made out of the similar material stock that we have for the watering bag cards, which is it's just pure plastic. Pure, oh. pure oh, plastic. Oh, okay. perfect. All right. That's a good point. That's yeah. a good point. Turtle friendly yeah. plastic. Really? Turtle friendly yeah. plastic, yeah. yeah. Not made from straws, yes. Okay. <laughs> Does that have to be on the tag? Is that the tag. That is the tag. Yeah. 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 Metal straws, that's the new thing now. Well, <laughs> I saw glass straws in the co-op. Yeah. Did, did you really? Yeah. With little brushes that you can clean with glass. That's scary. Yeah, that's chocolate. Yeah. 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 Like yeah. the cup. We <laughs> have <laughs> No. Okay. Um, uh, 
Jen, you wanted to see this. Todd, do you want, should I just send it to everybody? Yeah. Yeah. The tag you mean? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be great. I like the idea of having the benefits on the other side. Mm -hmm. so, but I would make a note. I'll, I'll, I'll send that. Tomorrow is Richard's birthday, so maybe we should say thank you. Well, your hair is sticking up, but it looks cute. That's not what she was talking about. <laughs> that was awful. <laughs> I'm sick of it. I'm just going to do it. Um, it occurred to me that, you know, we're putting these little QR codes on all of our TreeSpeak things. Do we want to consider putting a QR code in there and having it linked to a web page with like even uh, even to MGL 87 or although that's a pretty dense thing exactly. or to our website yeah um, but or, or you your phone. what's that Sorry. yeah, yeah exactly, exactly exactly no, okay. no I, I take that. that back I take that back <laughs> but what about I mean I, I'm just before we make a thousand of these or whatever do we do we want to have that immediate link that someone could have? I've seen them on city trees in New York City. Yeah, they definitely have QR codes too. Well, there's no reason not to. And what, what would you want to link it to? Oh, well, we could just link it to our our web, the tree warden yeah. site. Okay. And then I'm envisioning that we're going to put these on as we're planting them, and then we will take them off at the end of the season when we take the water bags away. Is that the goal? That wasn't my thought. My thought was to keep them on indefinitely. Because it's an educational tool. It's reminding anyone who passes by that this is a public shade tree. It provides many benefits. Like, what's the what's the downside? Well, one that the tree I mean, grows and gets choked off. Well, yeah, plastic. you have to be careful about. What I would say like. aesthetics is a downside too. Just to have plastic tags hanging on every single tree. Mm -hmm. It's like billboards a little bit. And they may. Mm -hmm. um, I see what you're saying, but it also may. You know, a few after they're there for a while, they may fall on the ground. Mm -hmm. they, you, yeah. know, you know what I mean? There's going to be that. There is going to be that. Um, mm -hmm. I, I'm hoping actually that we can make this thing smaller. Yeah. The ones that I've seen on New York City trees have been about this big. Yeah. And it does mean that you need to, you know, get up close and read it. But I I don't envision something that's like yeah. half of it. I'd rather have it smaller. Can we, can, so we'll make that, if we can pass that. Yeah, you can condense it, whatever the final yeah. language is. And all right. And we can condense it, and I can actually give it to Marcus Printing, have them make a proof, mm -hmm. and I can email it to all of you and right. see what it would look like. All right. Does Karen, will Karen generate the QR code? Does she know how to do that sort of thing? She can figure it out, absolutely. Karen can do just about everything. Karen, I should say. Very talented. Just and do we like out. that it goes to the tree warden page? It seems to me that that's the most logical. Well, that's where all, most, that's where all the information yeah. starts off, and then there's Solving everything else. Okay. All right. Were you here originally? We talked about having the benefits on the back. Yes. Yeah. Well, it's fine. Yeah, that'll allow us to shrink this by fifty percent. Okay. Good. Thank you for doing that, Marilyn. Appreciate it. Um. Looks. I feel like. Okay. Anyway. Next item is very briefly tree speak. Can you give us an update on? Karen is just working on creating the creating creating, creating the web pages. Okay. So I know I have to follow up there and see what she's got. Okay. Um, Madeline has begun doing the audio recordings. Okay. So that's that's moving along. Um, okay, Tree Northampton update. We already talked about Orchard Street. This this Saturday we have a group from the Northampton High School Environmental Club, and hope anyone to join us if they're interested at all. And um, we're planting with them. Hopefully, it won't be too rainy. Otherwise, we have a rain date of next week. Probably also get some. Depending on how many they have, volunteers, 
Um, we're on um, North Maple? North Maple Street, yep. With them? And where do you have us on Sunday? Uh, La 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 Road. The other Back out on Loudon? Yep, there's two other elms to go there. Okay. okay. Pretty sure so. that's the plan. See, I did get an email from the Montague Tree <laughs> Committee. Very concerned about their this big grant project they have up in Franklin County about um, how volunteers, they're expected to get volunteers to plant a lot of trees for their DPW. So I did send a, um, an overview of how we do it and invited them if they wanted to meet or something like that. Um, is, it, is, that so is that a grant that is for all of Franklin County or just for communities uh, in Franklin County that are eligible? I think there's three I think it was communities. Four it's, a four it's definitely Montague and Greenfield. It's federal money, I believe. Mm -hmm. And the D Molly this year is had facilitated them getting the grant, and um, it's been a while since I heard the whole thing. But I know it's Montague. I want to say Pittsfield and Pittsfield. That Pittsfield's not in Franklin. That's right. Berkshire. So I, I know it's Greenfield. I can give you more information about it. Greenfield sounds like they have the infrastructure to do it, and mm -hmm. Montague maybe doesn't. And then there's another community too there. Involved, so. Um, Same guy. This is the guy that reached out to both of us. The land use planner up in that works for PVP C. FERCA. What is it called? FERCA. Oh, for FERCA. Okay. I believe yeah. so. Which is like a week ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, if you want to know anything more about it, I can find out. No, no. I was trying to tell them answering the questions. You know, the steps we go through mm -hmm. and what's involved in having volunteers do it because it's something new for them. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> just plant out the trees. So that's it for me. Okay. All right. Whew, we're moving right along, folks. I'm loving it. Um, I, under any other business, I know Todd had suggested that in future meetings that I always have sub an opportunity for subcommittees to have a report time. So I'll do that in future meetings. In the meantime, I'm going to shoehorn it into this other business category. Um, and also have the, the check in with the, the schedule that we adopted. Just make sure that we're always aware of it and of the subcommittee schedule. No, of the the plan schedule. Oh, kind of I see what you're saying. Yes, yes. The targets, the plan, 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 Okay. Anyway, have I, any of the subcommittees met me lately? Not since our last meeting. Yeah. We but might we be up for one. Hmm? We might be up for one soon. Yeah. After the grants submitted. Yeah. 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 That would be nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about the site? Okay. Well, um, I mean, I'm wondering if the work we're doing for the um, for the grant is kind of site related yeah. you know it's it's the parking area and the um so when we get down into the weeds of like choosing species mm -hmm. that's when you guys should mm -hmm. be ready to jump in mm -hmm. with your expertise sure okay but i don't think we need to iron that out before we submit the grant but just be on deck mm -hmm. for that and rob's on that so can you say yeah yeah any other business i have two things one is that we are going to actually be interviewed by Brian Solomon from GBY, thank you, who was interested in actually doing a spotlight story on uh, two communities in Massachusetts that are uh, one community that has a successful tree program, which would be us, and another community which I think was Lanesboro, mm -hmm. which is trying to get one off the ground. Mm -hmm. So he is he may uh, come out this Saturday to interview um, some folks. But, or he may come at some other time, so I just want to be in contact with him. He was you with me at the tree steward. Oh, who was you with? Uh, the no, WGBY. Oh, you went to the tree steward training? I did last oh, weekend. Did you like yeah. it? Oh, it's awesome. Great. Yeah, it was excellent. Yeah, Where's Lanesboro, by the way? Lanesboro would be like. It's uh, near Pittsfield. Yeah. Oh, it's in Pittsfield. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, and the other thing is, I had a, a, a lady by the name of Faith Kenton from Wilmington, Connecticut, reach out to me about our 
tree program and our free tree giveaway. So I'm going to mm -hmm. try to set up a face to face meeting with her because she's interested in mm -hmm. understanding how our program works. Uh, and, uh, you mean for replication? Yeah. And I, I think I, I see that the word is getting out everywhere. Great. So by, by what method do you think? The tree uh, giveaway? I, the free tree giveaway. I think uh, I think a lot of it may have to do with DCR. I think that uh, mm -hmm. you know Molly and Molly Farlasher and Julie Coop, um, you know, they're they're telling people to look, look to us for mm -hmm. a model, talk to talk to folks that work here, commissioners, um, to to make it, you know, to actually try to replicate it or try, you know. I mean, every community is different. I mean, for example, if you look at Cambridge, Cambridge has a $2 million budget for trees. Mm -hmm. The majority of that money is spent on contractors doing tree work. Very, very little money is actually used to actually, you know, it pays for support staff and things of that nature, but it does not, you know, $2 million is a lot of money. We spent probably, I don't know, probably 600000 altogether. If you figure salaries, volunteer labor, Everything else that goes into it, all the hours and effort. So that's what we figured it was five hundred something thousand dollars last year. So you know, it's it's just really it's just amazing to me that people. I mean, I, I can't. My email is my in, inbox is just virtually exploded. Wow. Like you can just take the inbox that I have just for tree things, and it's it's a separate wow. person. And I get more emails about trees than any highway related. Uh, it's amazing. Well, the last the last year. Is, is, is it mostly people to, uh, um, requesting setback trees? How do I get a free tree? Where do I go? Where do I sign up? How can I volunteer? Yeah. Um, tell me how your pro what your program is. Can you come meet with me? I have this dead tree in my backyard. You know. And I think it's your signs as part of it. Mm -hmm. I think the signs were a big part of it. Well, it's I, now the trees with the with the with the water bags. Yep. Mm -hmm. the trees with the water. I mean everything. It's just people are just asking a lot of questions and they just want to know how we're getting it done. And, mm -hmm. Is most um, of it positive? Yeah, I mean, the only the only difficult conversations I've had are, are with folks that actually don't want trees in front of their house, and mm -hmm. you know, it's I try to deal with those myself. Rob and I try to deal with them individually. If it doesn't work, then we just you know, like the gentleman who was over on uh, no on Bridge Road actually, oh. who didn't want a tree, and he was adamant didn't want one, didn't want one. But we based, Rob and I talked to him individually and together and said, we want to plant a tree here in memory of your son that passed away. So would you like to have that? And, you know, mm -hmm. it was like, you know. That was the winning ticket. Yep, that was oh. the winning ticket. So, you, you know, and it's, it's, it's in the public right away. And you don't want to show the tree down people's mm -hmm. throats, but you also want to let them know that, you know, you don't, this is how it is and this is what we're going to be doing. And, you know, in three hours, there's going to be an army of seven people here. So, so I think altogether, I think it's just amazing. What did we decide on the ch uh, Chestnut Street one? That got planted. It did, yeah. Yeah, yeah. there was an email from Rob about that. Yeah, yeah that got planted. Mm -hmm. It was pretty clear, like, when I was at this tree steward training that, um, you know, just how amazing this, you know, what we've done in the last several years is. I mean, and just people had a lot of questions for me. Mm -hmm. You know, I feel a lot of questions and, you know, the thing, how did the tree Northampton start, and, you know. I kind of talked yep. a little bit about set that plantings are the challenges we've had with that. Mm -hmm. So it was, mm -hmm. it just gave me a perspective that, you know, yeah. we're, um, it's pretty fantastic what we're doing. Mm -hmm. it, it and is. the amount it that is. we've accomplished. And I think um, Rob's having, being retired, yeah. and mostly retired, yeah. and yeah. citing. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I mean, I, I just think that it's, yeah. you know, I look at our program as like this, circle, you know, and before we had, we had a quarter of a circle and we had a half and then, you know, now we're at full circle and Tree Northampton actually was the last cork mm -hmm. that just mm -hmm. kind of, mm -hmm. even though Tree Northampton started before, basically there was a commission, there was a, a tree group, it wasn't necessarily the 501, mm -hmm. 501C, three. Mm -hmm. three, thank you, I always forget that, mm -hmm. but since that's come to fruition and it's real official, I mean, this is really something that majority communities in Massachusetts do not have. Mm -hmm. You know, there was a gentleman that was uh, at the tree planting class that I went to that we had at Florence Civic was asking me specifically about your your program and how you went about it. They're trying to do one in the city of Boston. Um, you know, having a 501, 501c3 in Boston, they don't have one. 
here we have a community of 28,000 and we have one, and then we have this dedicated commission and we have these army volunteers and we have, you know, I mean, it's like the, it's like all the balls are in orbit at the, at the correct time. And, um, Support from the mayor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I mean, it's just every time I see a city council, like, thank you very much for taking care of the trees, and you know, it's just mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's cool. and uh, openness of, on the part of the DPW yeah. to work with volunteers. Yep. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yep. right. It takes a special yeah. right. That's true. Patience, patience. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, openness. Mm -hmm. Well, I think the overall just shift in the dynamics of how we're going to maintain things is kind of a sign of the commitment level to make yeah. to make this happen, but. It's just incredible to spend a lot of time talking to people. Great. Thank it's you. probably helpful that you were at least originally, you know, on both the roads, the roads chief and the tree chief, because you didn't have that conflict that could easily come up. Yeah, I don't know. I think about it. It's 29 years ago. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it's all. It's all. It's all a memory. <laughs> Okay. All right. Any it. any further business, folks? Do Otherwise, any, we can retire. Do you want any there? comments on that plan? To echo the. Oh first. right! Thank you for reminding me, Tom. Tom. Um, has anyone looked at it? I skimmed it, and my impression. Well, I read the letter, and then I skimmed it, and I, I didn't look deeply. But that was my impression that there was absolutely nothing about trees. There was, there was nothing about trees or certainly green streets at all. It was pretty. It was pretty broad. Mm -hmm. Hope they didn't pay much for it. Frankly, pretty weak. This is MassDOT. There's a link to a feedback line. Can we um, empower, as a committee, empower Todd to make a comment on behalf of the commission? I knew yes, that sure. <laughs> <laughs> Todd, uh, have you seen me back recently? Uh, do we have do we have the comments that Emerson was going to make? No, oh. it doesn't look like we did. He sent them. Um, all he said is just an FYI, increase. You want to send some comments? Uh, oh, our committee will send comments. Maybe yours too. Trees are not mentioned mentioned once in my quick read in the plan. So I we I do not have anything further from. They had a whole subsection on traffic comment. And I stopped there and read that, and there was nothing on yeah. trees. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then lots of bike, ped, pedestrian, like we want to encourage everybody to walk. And I'm like, well, it's only yeah, no, it's huge. It's, yeah. Huge. it's huge. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's just a it's, really it missing It transforms yeah. the whole experience. So, yeah. Yeah. can you put that in your pretty planner language? Speak on our behalf and get it off by midnight. Yeah, tonight. quickly. No. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, so we have a motion to empower Todd to send a letter on our behalf. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank Opposed? You. Okay. Aye. Uh, <laughs> no, no, that doesn't count. <laughs> that, that document's good. This document is good. Document's excellent. Do you want to keep it? Can you send me a PDF uh, and I'll print one? Is this, it, yeah. it, yeah, is this a spare? It's, yeah, it is can, a spare. Can yeah, throw yeah, yeah, just for the, yeah, I'm yeah. going to reference it in oh, the dear. comments. No, wait, this is a, oh, you can, can reference. Yeah. Oh, God, sorry. Come on. Oh, it's in the tape. Oh, 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 there you go. <laughs> that was all on film. All right. All right. Uh, um, does anybody sing now? Okay. What's that? Sing. Sing? Happy birthday to you. Oh, come on. Happy birthday to you. And it's on video. Happy birthday to you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, whoever remembered, I'm not talking to My you. My boy did that to our attorney. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we need a motion to adjourn. Motion. What about to-do lists? To-do lists, sorry. Okay, take it back that motion. Or, or put it on hold. Um, to-do lists. Sue, we'll start with you. Let's see here, I'm going to write a letter of support for the grant application, just to Judy Coop. Julie. Julie. You'll get all yeah, that. I'll get that information. Yeah. Um, deadline, let's say it's the 17th deadline, the 24th. Mm -hmm. Okay. That seems to be all for you that I have, for this group that I have. Okay. 
Uh, I'm going to contact, i got to get the, the name of that gentleman from the Chickadee Planning Department regarding um, CU soil education possibility. And I'm going to email Susan. Can you write your email on, on this? Because I think it would be easier. Um, and I'm still working on this one page thing. I keep, it keeps getting put to the back burner. So. What well, else? Tree, oh, for for to eventually uh, add a page to the um, tree guide, the oh. Northampton tree guide that has like you know recommended, you know if you have a choice between a container and another uh, type of you know yep. plant uh, production. Yeah, that, I just that'll be good because I were, I want to add some more things in okay. the back. Yeah. Yeah. To that as well. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Do you need a deadline? Would that be helpful? Are you motivated by deadlines? Oh uh, no. <laughs> No, I just I just like almost get to it and then some other. Can you do it by the next meeting? Can we? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll do it. All right. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm gonna make a shape file for the planting sites in this parking lot. Um, I'm gonna probably get a letter of support from that Unitarian Climate Action Group. Great. And I'm gonna tell a friend of mine about the neighborhood planting application because she's expressed interest in that. Mm -hmm. Oh, and also, um, well, Rob said he was going to send the remaining 2008 tree, tree planting mm -hmm. data. Yeah. When he sends that, I'll add that into the um, spreadsheet and finish the tally. Thank you. Okay, Rob and I are going out uh, next Tuesday, the 23rd, to identify the remaining um, tree sites, and then I will for that information tomorrow. Oh, okay. okay. Should I wait to make the shape file till I get that from you? Or you could start with that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I will uh, make some comments on Mass DOT site when I get home and uh, get uh, try to get three letters of recommendation from the chamber, uh, DNA, and oh, uh, Academy Music. Mm -hmm. Working on the DCR grant, uh, contact uh, Dr. Basic. Um, get going on actually determining the uh, amount of hardscape and things of that nature that we're going to be removing and how much structural soil we're actually going to need. Um, prepare a letter from the tree warden regarding this project. Mm -hmm. um, talk to Karen about the web pages being kind of glitchy in regards to the um, tree planting program. And then um, reach out to, uh, to uh, Faith from Willimantic and then Brian Sullivan and then plant a bunch of trees and everything else. Okay. Two more things with Karen. Um, talk to her about tree speak yep, tree and speak. also maybe QR code. For the, yes. Yeah. So the sooner I can get that, I'll ask her about the QR code. It'd probably be something very easy, but. I don't know when are we going to get the um, I've shared I've shared the um, it's a Google document okay right. so I've shared it with everybody and um, it it's very close okay um, I can I can shift it tonight to show what's in the front the, the other thing I want to mention before we quit is that uh, Karen and I built a team drive which we have we will actually all have access to which everything should be deposited great so we can oh. all work out of it so we're all working off the same Documents. How's it different than the Google Drive? The Google Drive is your personal drive, so Google Drive works off of your own. So I don't have access to your Google Drive. You only invite me to have access to your documents. Oh, oh, so I have a Google Drive, and then we have a Team Drive that we all can have access to. Oh. And all the stuff can be deposited in there and managed instead oh. of being. Great. From are they? Are you able to make live, real-time updates the way you can with Google? As long as you have permission, I don't see why not. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Are you as well? I don't have a name yet. So when's that going to happen? Karen and I have to, it's one of those things that she and I started, but we have to finish. So it's within the, within the next month, I would hope. In the meantime, do you have access to the Google Docs? I don't know. I do. I don't know. Yeah, there's um, the to-do list. We have a we have a um, one Google spreadsheet, on uh, which is our to-do list, our ongoing to-do list. Could you invite me? But, yes. But there's that whole tree plan, what, the spreadsheet. Oh, that too. That's yeah, that too. Yeah, I mean, there's a page. number of things. I thought, yeah. it, I thought if you 
Oh. Yeah, no, they have to be invited. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Each Please individually. Me, yeah. Not, it's not. not yeah. Okay, I'll make yeah. a note to myself. <coughs> Thank you. Okay, so my turn to talk about what I need to do. I'm going to contact the Gazette to see if they'll they'll do uh, an article to promote the neighborhood planting project. I'm going to be the hub for all of the letters of reference for the application. So what I've got is CAG and actually Amali, I was just thinking that if you could um, include an environmental justice focus because UU is very environmental justice oriented, that might help satisfy that piece of it if we can't get anything from the McDonald's from somebody in the community that's actually. Mm -hmm. So just think about how you can shape that. Okay. Um, so I'm going to get something from Tree Northampton from the DNA slash chamber and from the tree warden. Um, I'm going to ask Wayne about McDonald House, um, see if that gets anywhere. What else am I going to do? I'm going to invite Sue to some Google Docs. And, and then I'm just going to do my regular chair kind of stuff. That's about it. All right, I think we have a motion to adjourn this meeting. Now we need a second. Todd has made a motion. I oh, second. <laughs> It hasn't expired. Questions <laughs> <laughs> there expire. All right, Marilyn seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye.